Hello everybody, Luke with that L here, and in today's video I'll be showing you guys the top 10 things that all Minecraft sweats do on their personal survival worlds. And how do I know that you do them? Well, because I do them all myself, and this list is actually just a bunch of things that I do in my personal survival world, because I am quite the survival sweat. Also, I would like to mention that I do stream on Twitch on this world from time to time, so you can check out my Twitch stream linked down below in the description. Alright, so first up we have a trophy room. Now your trophy room houses all like your collectible items, they can be rare things, they can be, um, you know, just like, it's all just your trophies. So here I have all my music discs, I have um, just a random um, heart of the sea, no, not, what's this thing called again? Just a random conduit. Um, over here, you know, we got Emma, we got some, some other stuff, and up top we got all the heads, you know, chilling, um, ender egg. Woodland Mansion map. For some reason, these are actually like kind of rare, you know? Having like an actual Woodland Mansion map that goes straight to the mansion. Because these things are really hard to find. Numero dos, we have keybinds. Now, I can't really show this to you since I don't have my webcam turned on, but um, I have my one of my mouse buttons set to cycle my, um, my perspective. So I have that, and then I also have one set to do firework rockets. So all I need to do is touch one of my side buttons on my mouse and I can instantly switch to my rockets. So if I'm, if I'm ever in like a sticky, sticky situation, I can get out here real quick. All right, number three is a really specific one and I know I might get some flack for this, but I have a creative version of my survival world because I really don't like trying to find things. So I just hop onto it and do like slash locate and that like, you know, it finds me things. So, I mean, is it cheating? Kinda. But to be fair, my world is old, so all like the old chunks surrounding the spawn point don't really have a lot of stuff. So I kind of do have to use this, especially for the new things like ancient cities um, and stuff like that. Number four is mining ores just for the XP that comes out of it. Now, I have a whole shulker full of redstone, you know, not to flex or anything. I'm sure that's not a whole ton in the long run. I don't really do a lot with redstone when it comes to like actually like making circuits and stuff. I just store it, but... I don't really need to mine more redstone, you know, I have plenty of the the um, redstone blocks just stowed, stowed away, but I mine it just so I can get my pickaxe back to full health. Next up, another one like kind of specific to me, um, I actually have my chest plate in my last hotbar slot so that if I ever get in like a really bad situation where, you know, I'm maybe getting swarmed by mobs or something, I can switch out of my elytra and get those extra armor points because they are kind of important, especially when you're fighting a lot of mobs. Number six is a maxed out turtle helmet. Now, I'm not sure how many guys actually have this, but they are kind of a grind to get. I know being kind of a grind is kind of relative, but um, those, those, what are they called? Scoots? Yeah, the scoots, they're kind of hard to get. Um, they take a little bit of a grind, so having a maxed out one of these suckers is nice, especially because you get the um, water breathing effect. I probably shouldn't do it there because I have a conduit, but if I were to drown in this rather lame looking pond here, I'd have water breathing for 10 seconds. So, turtle shell kind of helps with that. It gets your um, water breathing up, which means that you can go up for air less, which is kind of important, especially when you're in the ocean. For this next one, I kind of have to pop over to my, um, my pigment farm, but it's a really specific one to me as well. And that's making world backups before I um, go AFK. And I have quite a few of these suckers, so if worse comes to worse and I die, I can just go back to the latest world backup and I don't have to lose all my XP. I don't have to go find my stuff. Um, it's really specific and I wouldn't actually do this if I died in the real world. It's just if I died, if I died in the real world, what? I wouldn't actually do this if I died like outside of AFKing, but um sometimes like maybe like a mob will clip through the glass or something i know that sounds really weird but it has happened before i swear and um you know maybe my thorns just isn't strong enough and the mob will kill me so it's kind of like i have a lot more protection now than i used to with thorns on my armor and with like my um beacon abilities but just in case i always make them now everyone with a super smelter understands this one but it's mining just so that you can fill up your super smelter because you know, it's a massive machine, you spent tons of iron on it, and now you like don't even use it. So, you're gonna need to do some mining. Number nine, could just be me. It's probably just me, honestly. But it's putting off upgrading your storage room. 
Now, I do have plenty of shulkers inside of these chests, you know, it's not like I'm just using chests to store everything, but it can definitely use some work. Um, there's a lot that I can do. I mean, I have the wood for chests. It's not like I'm, like, broke or anything, but this guy needs an upgrade. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, last and certainly not least, the most sweaty thing you can do in Minecraft survival is probably make Minecraft YouTube videos. So anyways, that concludes my list of the top 10 most sweatiest things you can do on Minecraft Survival. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to check out my Twitch, link in the description. I'll be posting more of these Minecraft YouTube videos. So stay tuned for those. Um, drop a sub. You know what to do. I'm sure you've heard it plenty of times already. But yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>